Hey guys, Cage Reseller here, back at you with another storage unit video. Today we got two um, decent sized units. Uh, I passed on one that would have been had a ton of stuff in it, so <laughs> I did pass on it though. Here is some of the stuff in this one. This is a toddler bed. I will try and sell this at the consignment sale, pending it's in good enough condition. Um, I'm not sure it will be. The pieces of furniture, I think these are two different pieces, hopefully. It looks like they're two different pieces of furniture, so they shouldn't be too bad to get out of here. If there was one piece, it would have been a little bit tougher, but uh, yeah, clothing some plush right there it's probably not too much worth of anything but i will try and show y'all in clips this looked like it was uh soy america i saw this listed on ebay for like 30 or 40 dollars i think it's still new um, never been opened but we'll see for sure when we, when we open it and then some random totes with clothing and probably some pillows that just can't throw it away but yeah that's an overview of the first one for this video all right, so for storage unit number one, here is a bunch of the stuffed animals that were in there. Um, most of these are probably just going to be donated. <laughs> Nothing great from what I can see. Uh, a little Easter, a chick with Easter bunny ears, a Christmas plush. That's a fake Squishmallow. Uh, this little ball pit might be kind of cool. It's like a blow-up thing, but it also has little balls with it. Uh, some more plush here. Nothing that I see that's going to be anything great. That dragon might sell at a garage sale or something, but it's a toy factory. And didn't like any kind of brand that I recognize. <laughs> clothing as well. Random clothing, nothing too great. Uh, there's a toddler bed. That'll probably pay for the unit. Um, I can sell it at the, consi at the consignment sale. I sold my other one at the consignment sale for like 30 or 40 dollars. So if I hold on to that long enough, I don't know if I will or not, might try and sell it at the garage sale for like 20. And then if it doesn't sell there, then, you know, use it at the consignment sale. Um, then all these clothing, most will probably be donated. I will look through and see if there's anything great. But most of the clothing in here looks like it's just donate clothing. Um, nothing that I see that's going to stand out. A bunch of socks and other stuff. So, yeah. that's Also, there are some other cool clo or, uh, furniture in that storage unit. There's a mattress that goes with it. I'll have to clean it up a little bit. But, um, yeah. I'll show you all those, that furniture, and then we'll be done with storage unit number one. I'm going to go to storage unit number two right now, and then we'll start on that one in a second. All right, guys. So, the final total from storage unit number one. This thing right here is like a bar, kind of. Uh, I'm not sure I'm able to show it to y'all very easily. I already got it in the car and then I realized I never actually filmed anything. It actually opens up right here. I'm not sure it's going to work without the, uh, but it opens up. There is some stuff in there, nothing too great, but this thing actually opens up and you can access it from there. So it's like a little wine rack thing. I think it said something about bar and I'm going to Google lens it, but it's a pretty cool piece of furniture there. Um, probably a it listed for like a hundred dollars. I don't know if it's worth that much or not. This one needs some work. It's an electric fireplace, so you can see down there, it's like a fireplace piece of furniture. And back there is the electric heater that goes with it. So I don't know if it works or not. I'm not sure I want to test it at my house. I might test it outside and just see what happens. Uh, you never know with electric stuff that's been in a storage unit and exposed to rats and mice, whatever it was that was eating. There was a, a little aquarium in here that had food in it, so I think the rats and mice were after that. They just chewed through the box. Didn't even eat the fish food that was in there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it for storage unit number one. Um, some decent stuff. I paid 30, I think I paid 40 bucks for that unit. So yeah, some profits there for sure. And that two pieces of furniture and then some of the other stuff I got will probably be worth some money as well. So yeah, that's it for storage unit number one. Here is storage unit number two for today. It's like a five by five, I believe. I spent, I think, 89 to ninety dollars somewhere like that on this one uh, you can see these right here it's part of a bed i think um but this little tote here is full of stuff uh this i think that's just empty stuff stuff in there i'll say just paperwork uh, random ink there's the cut lock kind of a mystery what's behind here but it looks like it might be a printer or two um, i'm not sure if that's what's in there or not i'll have to do some more research and these two this bag is relino never heard of it might just be a chair <laughs> but uh this is all i think that's all christmas stuff this is a christmas tree unfortunately i thought it would be something better pre-lit duncan fur quick set clear lights so nothing great there um these it might have stuff in them. They might not. Um, it doesn't really want to come open. <laughs> I guess the stuff on top of it's weighing it down, but I'll go through those and report back. Uh, this 
I don't, well, actually, it might be something in there. It's like a TV mount, I think. This is also a TV mount. Um, this doesn't feel very, oh, that's a, well, I wish that was in there. <laughs> it's a, that Canon camera is probably worth some money, but I don't, it's too light to have a camera in there, I think. That the case and everything, but I don't believe the camera is in there. Neither is that. Maybe it's somewhere else in here, um, but yeah. I'll throw up a comp of what this is worth. Um, obviously, I don't have the camera, but uh, if I had the camera, and then there's no printer in there either, it's just an empty box. <laughs> Not sure why you store an empty box in a storage unit, um, but there might be something in there too. So, yeah, some shelving and some totes as well that I need to go through, but I'll come back with the report. So those bags had, well, it looks like camera equipment. I keep getting hints of good stuff in this unit, but nothing that equalizes money. Now these could be worth money. I'll have to do some more research on them. Um, I'll throw up screenshots if they are, but it does look like some kind of camera equipment in general. Um, maybe some, whatever you call it, whatever things are, light boxes, something like that. I know it's not the right, correct, correct term, but something like that. It's big light bulbs, that's for sure. <laughs> really, you know. This one is a sewing machine, and then I think it's also another kind of light box. When I was talking about getting hints of good stuff. Well, here's another hint, but I haven't seen it yet. Nintendo Switch uh, controller holder thing. That's all that's in here is just that. Um, this is all like workout equipment stuff. Nothing great in there. This is all clothing. Um, some of it looks like camo, so maybe there is some money in the camo clothing. This backpack. Um, in the past, I've sold some of these backpacks that are like this for decent money. Um, it's like a camelback, I think, but who knows? It might not have any value because it's used, so no one wants to buy a used camelback. But I will look up some of this stuff, show you if there's any uh, good clothing in here that's worth money. Um, so far, I'm not seeing anything, but uh, I haven't obviously done an exhaustive search. This box smells terrible. <laughs> it doesn't smell terrible, it just smells like something that you probably shouldn't be inhaling very often. Um, this is interesting. Professional nail drill machine. Um, so, I don't know if that's what's in, that might not even go in there. Let's see. Uh, looks like it. That's, I think that's where the smell's coming from. Whew, it's just like a very strong smell. Uh, some dental stuff. And I have to put this in my car too. iPod Air. Yeah, it's not in, well, I don't think it's in there. It doesn't feel like it's in there at least. That it is not heavy enough to have it in there either, but uh, it's a box. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, this this is the unis, unit of if only. If only the stuff was in the box that's that's being that I'm seeing. Um, but so far, none of it is actually in here. <laughs> so I'll continue to look through there. I can't stand this smell. Holy, holy moly, guys, this smells bad. Like it just, it's not a like rank, ran, rancid smell. It's just a like nail polish, terrible, overwhelming smell. This, this one um, just had a bunch of, I think it's photos mainly, um, but it does have a purse or two in there. So the purse might be worth something. I will come back to y'all with anything I find of significance. Um, this tote also had like camo clothing, stuff like that in here. So. If there's anything good, I will come back to you with it. That one, I already looked, we already looked at that. I already looked at that. Last thing is what's in that. Can't get to it until uh, I move this shelf. And that was all basically empty boxes, like I said earlier. So was the printer. And then that might actually be in there, but it's not really worth anything. So I will come back. And also, that, that thing was a table. So it's it's decently new. Uh, it's, in, it's not very good furniture. <laughs> so it's probably not worth anything. But yeah, that's some of the finds for this one i will come back uh with what's in there and if any of the clothing might actually have some value i'll probably come back from uh, my house slash my parents house all right another update <laughs> i was digging through this one i've got the drawer off and it's actually something's actually in the box that it's advertised as this is a graphics pen display pd 1161 i'm gonna throw some comps up i'm not sure i'm probably gonna do this video uh on the day i'm actually emptying these out that way i have a video out today but the brand is Gaoman, Gaoman, however you say that. Graphics IPS pin display. Um, I'm not sure if there's a charger for it. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> so, pending it works, which usually stuff in storage units does work, uh, unless it's like a telephone, then phones don't usually work, but stuff like this usually works. So, 
that will probably come close to paying for the unit in and of itself. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just random. That's paints. That's actually the instruction manual for that sewing machine that was in one of the bags. Um, more sewing stuff and other random junk. This one had, there was like LSAT practice test in there, I think, and then other random journals and stuff that'll probably just be thrown away. Some of the paper down there might actually still be good. It could sell that at the garage sale, although people don't usually buy that at garage sales. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So, unfortunately, said camera was not in there. Otherwise, it would have been a really good storage unit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I haven't actually opened this yet, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the tree in there. So that is the tree. So yeah, that's it. Eighty-nine dollars what that originally cost, but I won't be able to get that for it. So I'll come back and find anything else. But yeah, I had to come back and show you all that real quickly. All right. So the clothing from that unit produced a couple of pairs of shoes. These are seven ninety-eight combat boots. And if I remember, I throw up a screenshot. It might not. Uh, these are all army issued, I believe. Even these, I can't find a brand on these fancy shoes. Um, nothing on there. But they're probably the same size as those shoes, if I had to guess. There's a bunch of army stuff. Do y'all, just a question to all of y'all, I'm not going to sell this probably before the video comes out, obviously, because the video is coming out like either Thursday or Friday. Um, do y'all think I can sell all this stuff? This is all army stuff. All these fatigues are army. Uh, these shirts I could probably sell easily because they're not, I mean, they just say army on them. Anybody can have a shirt that says army on it. Uh, and this jacket, U.S. Army, the cool jacket right there with mesh or whatever. It is raining, so... Got to hurry up this process real quickly and hopefully be able to get back out to the units and empty out more stuff. But uh, yeah, this might be the last part of this video. I'll come back at least with one last clip of a summary of stuff. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you all, all these army fatigues and uh, gloves and everything else. A bunch of army stuff. This person uh, was in the army uh, at some point. So <laughs> yeah, they just left it all behind in their storage unit. Um, so yeah, that's it for storage unit number two, unless I find something else to show you all. Here's the final tally from storage unit number two for this video. This might be the best thing in it. Vistas, Introduction El Lingua Espanol, El Lingua Espanol. There's one listing on Amazon with a rank of under a million, which for books is really good. It includes all these things, so I can actually sell it. It's new in the packaging. It looks like it goes for 100, 200, something like that. So that's a good find for sure. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not really much else, unless this military stuff's worth some money. This is probably worth about $20, free shipping, so it's really not worth too much. But I do have the box to ship it in. This cost $35 originally. It's new in the packaging, some kind of acrylic nail stuff. It's in that box that smelled really strong. Um, there's more nail stuff in here. I'll probably just sell that at my garage sale. Um, and there's also some like staples, staplers, stuff like that, some gel pins. This jacket right here is... The one I'm debating if I can sell or not. I still haven't decided if I'm going to try and sell it or not. And then some backpacks as well. This is some kind of hair dryer. I have to see if it works or not. But if it works, it looks like it's worth a decent amount of money. At least different brands are. This one might not be. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite item I found. Probably that. And subscribe if not subscribed. Thanks for watching.